Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Aries. Alrighty, today we are doing our career and money reading dedicated to you guys for and during the month of October. Hopefully everybody is doing great, everybody is enjoying the beginning of a lovely, lovely fall. Busy month October, so Aries, we're going to throw 10 cards, okay breaking down elements of a question that you have not asked but let's say let's puzzle it let's try to create a question around your goals business project idea success finding the best career path or even a promotion path taking your next business your business to the next level all these good things Aries so let's see what we could say to you guys and let me make sure you guys are in frame yes you are beautiful beautiful we have a nice um, you know what we have a nice conclusion here to the first spread I like it when I end up with a uh, king of coins as a possibility here I also like the you know what characters we got going here so four majors oh no three majors we have here the Pope the strength and the death card Aries let's read it and see what we could say okay so Queen of Swords begins this process the process is called a high-level business strategy a high-level thought with the four of swords okay okay very very rational beginning okay it's a very rational analytical and reliant on facts okay i know that sometimes aries i keep you know what emphasizing the the the, the point about data the point about information when we're getting swords okay i do that and i don't think i can do it enough because when three of our kind of cards here are related to information the best way to analyze it the best way to validate a particular plan we have to ensure that data is recent relevant and that you are on top of it and that you know how to fetch it and that you know how to update it and all that stuff so a little bit of a brain exercise obviously with the queen of swords here analyzing a project idea now as much as i like to move this way i also want to go up here and say death okay the transformation energy it's an analysis to create a new can we say mode of work with the four of swords or a new business plan a new high level plan that will then be acted upon acted upon in different ways the different ways are maybe including a four of wands maybe including a four of cups at those cases that's beautiful but then we want to end up with some kind of a four of coins because we're going to create a foundation from which to develop further and to invest further that's what i see in this spread how do we get there well we get there with an immediate action plan that has attention to detail here's your 10 of coins beautiful so aries is looking at a market perhaps a new market aries is looking at their skill sets they're looking at improvements they're looking at doing things differently almost um i don't want to say 180 degrees but almost from the ground up once more okay now this should not give you the impression that we are having to relearn everything that we do no the framework is there but we're looking to get more results out of what you do okay so more money out of the you know what business that you own that you operate success for the project idea you're trying to launch or even more money and a promotion potential where you currently work okay so attention to detail using the data now that's how you're devising the plan and it needs to be complete and then you're validating it okay with a seven of swords so there is the element of checking in potentially um, with someone who knows this information very very well so you will seek a source of expertise we have a pope here that says you have enough charisma you have enough ability you have a lot of it actually to attract others to support your idea to support your project and the way you do that is really not necessarily being soft-spoken but at the same time um doing something out of the ordinary so let me look at it again now and say okay she's analyzing things so we can come up with a new strategy or a business template you're putting together the plan okay you're validating the plan and then comes an opportunity an opportunity that looks like the strength card okay i'm talking about soft spoken but at the same time 
I have the strength of God here. How do we resolve that? Well, your soft-spoken nature or the charismatic nature is what will allow for an opportunity to have that kind of a union or that kind of a, can we say, a teaming up of you and a lion, okay? If we don't have enough of the charisma, enough of the courage as well, obviously, to have this meeting of the minds, meeting of the, okay, I see your idea, but I need convincing. And then you do that job. You do that job well. It's as if you have tamed a lion. It's as if you have also established, in my humble view, um, uh, credibility and trust in an unusual way. So we're back to personal strengths. And I see that we were looking at the death card. We're looking at the transformation. We're looking at the rebirth. We're looking at the renewal. Okay, so somebody here, that somebody may be Aries, is going through a personal growth exercise. That personal growth exercise allows them to now get more as much as they give, okay? Better profit, a higher pay, you know what, a better bonus structure even. I'm really curious what we're going to get in the next spread, but let's see, let's keep going on this one. Okay, so we talked about the transformation effort here. We talked about you raising, you know what, a raising, getting credibility, gaining credibility here in an unusual way due to a foundation of information and also a people's skills kind of aspect, a charismatic way. Timing note says when, when, when a plan is almost complete, okay, we begin to discuss with more and more people. A purpose here for me was that Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, the commercial business executive, the project leader who does not have to sweat it because they've done the hard work already. Their points are made, their data is recent, and you know what, well analyzed, they have the best way to communicate and relay the information, and at the end of it, they're able to gain more status. And that's our first possibility here with the King of Coins, Aries. All right, let's see now if it gets spicier with the next 10 cards. So, sequence of things that allows us to tap into more and more opportunities. Two circles I got here. So, we are definitely building something. And here you are, Aries. And I love it. This is, yeah, this is an interesting, interesting set of majors. What else? And what else? And I love it. Hallelujah. Okay. Big energies here. And we are about to fulfill a wish with this process. And what was the wish? Was it status? Or was it expansion? Or was it growth? I have, you know what, cards that are jumping out at me here saying, there's a bit of everything, guys. There's a bit of everything, but there's something that I'm going to focus on and hone in on right now. See that two of cups? See that hermit? Okay. This is the market research activity. This is the how you're going to win, how you're going to grow well with taking a little bit of focused, you know what, exercise about the market, spending some time to focus on that market exercise. When I see a two of cups in our business context, I say, who do we fall in love with? The market. We understand its patterns, your ability to cater to it, its seasonality, the way it seeks change the way it seeks new solutions or products etc etc how do you get there this is your timing note well you have another amazing personal skill set here that says the hermit the hermit is able to take time to focus on a goal or to get back to that plan of the queen of swords and focus and hone in more then you come out with a lantern then you come out with you know what a clear it's not necessarily the clearest of paths but you have the tool to see further, to be in a leadership position. When you hold a lantern and others don't, you can see further. Okay, okay. Beginning of it suggests um, paying attention to sequence, paying attention to who's going to be told what first, who's going to be introduced, you know, what to any ideas first, and how do we lock in their support. And then you have, okay, an element that says there's a world of opportunities there. Here's the world and here's the wheel of fortune, okay? Now, we don't want to work around these opportunities by only being in the sphere of this wheel of fortune. So how do we stabilize a stream of opportunities for Aries? That is what the, you know, what immediate result we are seeking here. How do we do that? Well, we have to be untraditional, okay? Untraditional you were, you are, I positively project, in the way you can establish credibility and trust with 
heavy hitters or can we say stakeholders executives c-suite type people untraditional also in the way you've analyzed the opportunity and the direction you're going here we have the hangman it's looking like it's in the purpose position and it is okay but really why am i seeking to see things from a different way because probably i'm expanding in a new market or i'm trying to change the current environment around okay okay beautiful world card and then followed by a wheel of fortune that reminds you opportunities and the market can swing both ways so your best effort here is to create something based on low-balled expectations based on under promising and based on being conservative when it comes to profit projections and that's how you know what this king of coins ends up becoming the king of coins and develops further with their own resources and builds further as well kind of a builder like the emperor the king of coins but now we're looking at the emperor here and we're saying long term okay now you've done the market research you're about to create something bigger okay and now we have confidence as well so when you have this opportunity to establish this trust and it could be as simple as a very very succinct presentation to one of your key executives uh succinct but it was backed up by data okay i'm gonna go back to the validation exercise you did below the yeah below the emperor there was a seven and here this feeds into the opportunity for a potential promotion or the opportunity for additional authority anyway you're getting funded you're getting the tools that you need to get to the growth potential that you see here and you see it differently and i think i need to say to you the execution of this exercise when you get the approvals you need is going to be ever so differently okay Allah, the hangman here seven of wands this opportunity also not only is you know what encouraging but it's also giving you more and more confidence i'm going to just pause for a second aries and i'll be right with so there's also something cool about the seven of wands about the you know what opportunity and what it may provide is i love the seven of wands because it's knowing that you own the room it's knowing that you have you know what convinced the people that you need to it's also knowing your objections so i love the fact that this you know what conversation here puts you in that place puts you in that light as well based on what based on your fact finding based on the research exercise you have done here i love it i love it okay outlook on the situation how do we build it how do we build that little bank or the big bank the three of coins suggesting i want to build this kind of empire here that is long lasting that is unaffected almost recession uh what's the word recession proof okay recession proof kind of business predictable i want it to be a money-making machine and I want to be able to advance ahead using all those tools that I have. Market research and more market research and understanding of personalities and the meeting of personalities and the way that we present to them in an unusual way gets you some approvals, gets you definitely an opportunity for expansion. At the end of it, Aries, we have a nine of cups that suggests to me this is quite attainable all right all right and i love it and it's almost like a wish comes true very 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 close to becoming that king of coins now because i love you guys okay only because of that let's throw three more cards and i want to say um a personal growth flair what to let go of what to embrace more of and a best path forward what to let go of we have a knight of swords what to embrace more of a page of swords i like that one best path forward the sun okay so why do i let go of the knight of swords well maybe because they are action figures and certain actions require embracing more of the knowledge the teaching the learning now in our context here just because these are sword guys we had talked about the queen of swords and data so I guess what I could say is what to let go of is taking action before I actually learn a little bit more. Okay, this neither of them is, you know what, a negative or a bad energy. But really, I'm taking the trait of, you know what, this action figure and saying, 
perhaps sometimes we need to also revalidate via learning more or seeking more advice best path forward is a happy sunshine here the best path forward is having clarity okay on next steps and also potentially teaming up with someone okay I just have to say that because I see those two there and I think there may be also a potential for collaboration, but being clear about the goals, being clear about the roles, who does what, you do this, I do that, then we win together. Alrighty guys, this was our reading Aries, which I hope you guys liked. Let me know what you thought and as always, you guys should know, we do love you madly and bye for now guys.